I'm trying here to prevent anyone saying the really foolish thing that people often say about him, about Christ. I'm ready to accept Jesus as a great moral teacher, but I don't accept his claim to be God. That is the one thing we must not say. A man who was merely a man and said the sort of things Jesus said would not be a great moral teacher. He would be either a lunatic on a level with a man who says that he is a parched egg or else he would be the devil of hell. You must make your choice. Either this man was and is the son of God or else a madman or something worse. You can shut him up for a fool. You can spit at him. You can kill him as a demon or you can fall at his feet and call him Lord and God. But let us not come with that patronizing nonsense about his being a great human teacher. He has not left that open to us. He did not intend to. I just read an excerpt from Why I Am a Christian, uh, Norman Geisler and Paul K. Hoffman. Well, hello. <laughs> God bless you, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. I'm sitting here studying at my desk, and I was just reading this and wanted to share it with you, and you know it's the truth. And I'm, listen, I'm one of those who believe with every the, uh, fiber of my being, I was going to say with, with the fabric and fiber of my existence, that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I am so glad that I am a born again Christian. I'm glad that I know who Jesus is. And I'm glad, my friends, to be sitting here talking to you today. Yes, I'm back in the saddle. I'm glad to be back in Raleigh. I'm glad to be back at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, I will be teaching and preaching and ministering the Word of God here tonight, and I want to invite every one of you to come and join me. I want to thank God for Elder Clarence Rayford and that powerful word that he gave on last Thursday night. Thank you, sir. But tonight, yours truly, I am going to be here, and I'm excited about Jesus Christ. Aren't you glad that you know Jesus? You know, I want to I want to say to you today, for those of you who are watching, listen. Um, uh, I want I want you to just slow down uh, after you watch this and just exhale. Listen, there's a lot going on in the world. Every time you turn around, the world is descending into more and more foolishness and wickedness. And if you're not, if you're not careful, it'll make you pull your hair out. I just want to say, exhale. God's got it. The God of the Bible is on your side. He's alive and well, and he's doing magnificent things. And no, you are not crazy. You are not losing your mind. Uh, green is still green. Blue is blue. Up is up. Down is down. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. Good is good and evil is evil. And there's a difference between evil and good and good and evil. And the Bible says, woe be unto them that call good evil and evil good, that put light for darkness and darkness for light, bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. We're living in a day now where people are literally changing uh, things and what you call things to satisfy evil people. Confused people, mixed up people. I have something here in my hand that you wouldn't believe. Uh, listen, I, 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 I'm going to try not to chuckle because it's not a joke. Trans activists are trying to rebrand the name of the female genitalia. Tilia, the, the proper name is vagina. To rename it as a quote, now I'm not joking, bonus Whole. Can you believe this? B O N U S H O L E. And here is the thing this is not from uh, 
or some uh, 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 comedy hour. Um, first, the, the, the article by Joe Kinsey, it says this. First, they came for Miss Universe, for the Miss Universe contest. Now they're coming for your female body parts. And what shouldn't come as a shock to anyone who has been paying attention to the last couple of years, we now have a woke cancer charity that wants medical experts to refer to uh, the vagina as a bonus hole so that transgender men don't get upset. Now, I want to ask you, those of you out there, who believe that, well, we should respect everyone and we should honor everyone's decisions and we should call everyone what they want to be called and, and play the game. You weak Christians who seemingly have no discernment whatsoever. Are you going to go along with this as well? Are you going to now refer to um, uh, a, the, 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 the vagina as a bonus hole so that some mixed up man who needs prayer, who needs to be delivered, who needs the blood of Jesus applied to his life so that that man won't be offended when the proper names are applied to proper uh, to body parts. Now, there's something wrong with the direction that we're going in. All of this to uh, satisfy a, a very small segment of society. you talking about a case where the tail is wagging the dog. That's what we're seeing now as never before. Where are the common sense Christians who will stand up and say, enough is enough. We're not going to go along with this foolishness because we believe that the God of the Bible is real. We believe that what you call a thing matter, how you pronounce a thing, what you call it, all of these things count. My friends, I'm telling you, I want to encourage you today to stay with the Lord because with this foolishness that's going on, it's not going to stop unless we stop it. It's not going to stop unless we rise up and say something. And see, this kind of wickedness uh, reaches classrooms now. It gets to children. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. And uh, our position is uh, not under our watch and not without a fight. Now, I am so excited about teaching the Word of God tonight. We're about to go into a weekend where we're going to be addressing our youth and young people. Uh, I am so excited about that. Um, we got a powerful service here tomorrow night. Evangelist uh, Tamika Douglas is going to be the speaker. She's an awesome woman of God, and I'm excited about what God's going to do here. And tonight we're going to open up, and I want to talk about some things I think is going to bless everyone. I want to say to you, stay close to the Lord. Serve the Lord. Don't get pulled off. Don't get afraid. Don't get discouraged. Don't worry because God knows what he's doing. And for those who are going through and you're burdened and you're heavy, listen, give it to Jesus. And keep Jesus as the center of your life. In your search and your quest for meaning and purpose and joy and gladness, you find it all in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ and knowing him and keeping him at the center of our lives is the secret to discovering the true treasures that our existence has to offer us. We exist for a reason. You are there for a reason. You are breathing for a reason. You're still here for a reason. There, there are things that God has for you. There's a joy. There's a fulfillment that comes from understanding the very reason for our existence. You're talking about something that is uh, uh, existential, dealing with our existence. Well, I'll tell you, 
the God of the Bible. He is the God, praise the Lord, of necessary existence. He's the God who put us here. We exist because he willed us to, and there are certain things that he wants us to discover. I want to close by, Brother Gary, I want to read a little poem here by uh, Robert Jethro. I think it's awesome. Um, the book is God and the Astronomers. He says this, For the scientist who has lived by his faith in the power of reason, and uh, he said, the story ends like a bad dream. Now, this is for the scientist who has lived his life in the power uh, and faith in, his, in the power of reason. He has scaled the mountains of ignorance. He is about to conquer the highest peak. As he pulls himself over the final rock, he is greeted by a band of theologians <laughs> who have been sitting there for centuries. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? He finally arrives and he finds theologians who say, who are looking at him saying, hey man, what took you so long? <laughs> You found, did you find out that your reasoning, your, your faith in reason, as good as reason is, when did you discover that man, uh, secular reasoning alone fi falls far short of scaling life's mountains? When did you discover that it takes God? that it takes the God of the Bible and knowing him to really be able to discover the true meaning of our existence, the true joy and gladness of being here, the true treasures that make life worth living. Theologians said we, we found out long ago that it's wrapped up in the name of Jesus and in serving the God of the Bible. Well, my time is up. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about being here tonight. I'm excited about seeing you, you, and especially you. Now, those who can't get here, I'm excited about see, b being with you on this medium. Those who are within the vicinity come out tonight. I want to thank God. I've met some wonderful people just this past Sunday, a wonderful a group of folk. So they said, Bishop, we, we, we flew up from Atlanta. We're not in town for a wedding. We're not in town for a funeral. We're not in town for a family re reunion. We're not here for any other reason. We come in, we've, we've flown in to be in the service. We followed you for years and we wanted to come and, and be in the service of the Lord. And they were blessed by being in the live services. I want to invite you. Join us one Sunday, if you will. Come to see us here at the Upper Room Church of God of Christ. God is blessing and doing some wonderful things. Now, tonight, tonight, tonight. Oh, by the way, my friends who came up from Georgia, guess what? They did the drum rolls that joined me for, and they did the little da -da 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 Bible study. And I was touched by that, and I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I want you to join me tonight for... Bible study. <laughs> I still get a kick out of it. You, you listen, Bible study. We are going to walk in the word of the Lord. We're going to study the word of the Lord together. I will see you right here at the upper room, Church of God in Christ tonight. Now go on out and make it a great day.